What's up, everybody? Coach Jay coming back at you with another video. I uh, just want to talk about um, coaching. Coaching has been um, an experience for me. The last uh, five years of Team Hazardous has been a great experience. And um, I didn't realize how tough coaching would be in comparison to fighting. Um, fighting is tough. Don't get me wrong. It's tougher than coaching in the physical sense and the preparation that you have to go through in order to be a fighter. But I think coaching can also be undervalued by a lot because there's a lot to think about when you're coaching, especially particularly when you're in the corner of a fighter, right? There's a lot going on. I was just talking to my wife about how the one minute rest in between rounds was so much more intense on me than it was for the three minutes that I was in there per round as a fighter. Um, there's a different level of anxiety going on there. And I think I understand more so than ever with, you know, my past trainers and coaches, how it feels to, you know, be in the corner of someone and, and you know, it try to make them the best they can be and give them advice. You know, particularly when you think about the, you know, when you're really the one minute rest is really not one minute. You probably got about 50 seconds or less because you got to get in the ring. You got to work on the fighter. You got to make sure that he's, you know, feeling fresh and prepared. Give him water. You need some ice, things like that. And then you want to talk to him about how the round went and then how and what kind of things you want to see from him for the next round. So there's a lot to think about. And those those things are undervalued. It's an intense moment. Then you got the commissioner in your ear telling you to get out the ring before that, you know, that that round starts. It's a lot going on. You have a lot to prepare for. There's a lot of things in the corner you don't see. You know, we got to have a bucket of, you know, tape, gauze, scissors, you know, inswell, you know, ice, all kinds of stuff, you know, and it's intense, you know. So I think it you know, it's been an experience. I, I love it. You know, I love it. It's something I won't ever trade, you know, any of my experiences, you know, as a fighter, as a competitor, as well as, you know, being a coach, you know. And, um, you know, initially before, you know, you start getting to the corner with people, you're in the gym with them, you know, it's a, and that's different. You know, when you're in the gym, you have time. That's the big difference. When you're in the gym, you have time. You can talk to them and you can you training them, you're giving them the skills necessary and, you know, working on strategy and fitness and, you know, talking the nuances that you get to do. But once it's competition time and that one minute in between rounds happens, it's intense. It's very intense. And then when the fight's over, it's like, how do you feel when it's over? It's like, you know, I, I checked my T-shirt once and I had so much sweat. You know, I was like I was fighting, you know. So it's very, uh, it's very different. So it can't be taken for granted. I give all the credit in the world for the, the most, you know, famous, you know, coaches and trainers who do it full time and have, you know, tons of fighters under their belt because it's a lot of, it's a lot of different emotions to manage when you have different fighters of different, you know, levels in their career and different skill sets. You know, it's a lot to manage. You, everyone is different. You know, you're like a psychologist in a way. You have to treat them as individuals and know that you know when they're doing something it's not like the last person you know you have to treat them as if they're doing their own thing and, they, and they're unique you know and you have to approach them with a psychology that's different for each person so yeah just just, just my thoughts what you guys think you know what if you're a coach or you're a fighter uh, what's your what's been your experience what, what's what's different if you've been on both sides of the coin Talk to me.